Kia ora, hello. This poem at number four is a time when I was in foster care and a time where I was forced to eat spiders. It was a time where the government decided to make a change, but what they didn't realise is this change that they decided impacted me and how it impacted me. I have just arrived to this new foster home. It's big, it's old with no garden gnomes. This place seems different from the rest. Here we go again, I'll give it my best. One week, two weeks and three weeks later, this placement is okay, it's actually greater. I'm feeling great, I've made some new mates. I feel so settled now and I haven't been growled. This place is what I call a dream, like strawberries and ice cream topped with whipped cream. This dream I felt was actually quite rare. What I didn't know though, it will become my worst nightmare. This nightmare I speak has haunted me. Hold on, sit back, now let's go and see. My nightmare started in one simple way where the government decided to make heave and make way. For all foster homes to go out and see, to pick street kids up and place them to be. This certain night street kids come in. They were fed, they were clothed and fitted right in. They had plastic bags that they were breathing in silver colour. They often looked like they were teething. I hear my name called, I go out and look, they sit in their garage with all those books. They say to me, sit down with us, they're much bigger than me, I'll show no fuss. They sit there and breathe through those plastic bags, they smile, they laugh, they're proud of their tags. Then suddenly they pull me to the ground, they cover my mouth cannot make a sound. My eyes are moving at rapid pace. I feel my heart beating. It's running a race. They laugh. They look. They stare at the room. One of them points and grabs the yard broom. He reaches up high. I glance and I sigh. They still have me down. I can't even frown. He brushes a web black spider falls down. I think to myself, you can't do this, I'm under the crown. He grabs the eight-legged bug. I'm trying, trying to move. I can't even tug. The other two, they open my mouth. My heart beats faster. You'll hear it from the south. He places the spider on the lips of my lips then pushes it in, I'm feeling scared within. My heart is beating with so many fears, my eyes are rolling with so many tears. I feel the spider trying to escape. He's moving too fast, like a fast folding tape. The feeling is yuck, the spider's trying to tuck. He moves and moves with not much luck. I have to think so very fast. I want this to end over at last. Without a thought and emotion in sight, I build up the courage and think just bite. It's the only way to get out of this. I must bite hard. I don't want to miss. I bite. I bite with all of my might. I know that this is really so much not right. The taste is green. I feel horrible and mean. I have to swallow. I think of a marshmallow. I look at them as I swallow and think to myself, you sure are shallow. They then decide to let me free. I spit and I spit in rhythms of three. They grab my arm and say very clear, if you say anything, watch out and beware. They start to suck 
on the plastic bag, they laugh and laugh that they no longer have. I run for my life, I wipe my tears, I've just faced my worst and greatest nightmare. I see my house parents in the hallway, I think to yell help, I have so much to say. Then I remember what they said clear, if I say anything, watch out and beware. As the weeks go by, I start to play up. I'm angry, I'm hurt, I want to throw up. The placement breaks down, I just want to go. My bags are packed, quick, quick, let's go. My social worker growls me in the car and says you're pushing your limits too far. The way you're going, you'll end up in jail and there you don't even get much mail. I wanted to tell him why I played up, but the way he is talking, I'll just soak it right up. If he only asks me why I played up, I would have handed it to him in a mighty big cup. My message to social workers in the field, there always is a reason for something to yield. Ask the questions, find the root, and maybe the child will open the boot. Because if we as social workers play the blame game, we're missing the point to identify and name.